So hello everyone. Today we are going to solve Jeevji's problem on the day Shy Geek. So I will briefly explain the problem statement. So in this problem, we Geek Geek has K coins and he went to a shop of n chocolates, which are arranged in increasing order and there are infinite supply of each kind of chocolate. Now Geek wants to buy the costliest chocolate that he can buy, and at the end we have to output in total how many chocolates Geek will buy, and Geek can ask about the price of. any chocolate at most 50 times so within 50 calls we have to answer how many chocolates geek will buy so let's see the sample test cases for better understanding so in the first test case geek went to a shop of 3 chocolates and he he has 5 5 rupees so the he has 5 rupees so the costliest chocolate that he can buy is of 4 rupees so he will be left with 1 rupees and he will buy one chocolate now he cannot buy any chocolate because all the chocolates has price more than one so we will return one because one he can only buy one chocolate and in the next test case geek has four geek went to a shop where there are four chocolates and he has 9 ru 9 rupees so the costliest chocolate that he can buy is of 4 rupees and he will buy that he will left with 5 rupees and he will buy one chocolate then again he will see from back because chocolates are arranged in increasing order can he buy four chocolate of rupees four yeah he can buy so he will buy that and he will left with one rupees and he will total buy two chocolates now again he will check for he can't buy four he will check for three he can't buy three he will check for two but when he see one he can buy this so he will buy this and he will left with zero rupees and he will total buy three chocolates so three is the answer yeah so the one very simple solution for this problem will be to trade from end of the array and check if we can buy this If we buy this chocolate, we will buy whatever amount of chocolate we can buy. We can simply do this by k by. Suppose this chocolate array is represented by v, so we will simply do k by v of i. So like nine by four will give us two, so we will buy two chocolates of price four, and then we will do k mod equal to v i. So we will get how many choc how many rupees he he is left with after buying this chocolate. Okay. so yeah and the complexity for this solution will be o of n but it will give us tle because we cannot ask for price of chocolates more than 50 times and here we will ask for price o of n times so that will give tle so we have to optimize it but the hint here is the array given is sorted like chocolates are arranged in increasing order so we can do binary search here like If we can buy a chocolate of price two, then we can obviously buy the chocolates behind two. Like if the array chocolate was like this, chocolate array one two three four five six, and if we can buy the chocolate of price four, then we can obviously buy the chocolates of price smaller than four. So we will update our load to mid plus one. So here, and similarly, if if we can't buy six. like if we can't buy 4 then we can't buy values which are greater than 4 so if we can't buy mid then we have to update our high to mid minus 1 so yeah that's the whole idea of this problem so let's see how to code this i will be doing just binary search so yeah firstly i will declare hello equal to long then we will make one low pointer which will be zero which will be initially pointing to zero index and high pointer which will be pointing to last index and answer in which we will store how many chocolates geek will buy so which will be initially zero so yeah. then while k is greater than zero while he he is left with any amount of money so what we will do we will check We will make one variable can by which will be initially. 
give it a simple name uh, previous so previous equal to 0 then we will do while low is smaller than equal to high let's make it long now then our mid will be low plus high by 2 and we will check what is the price of mid so value equal to and for asking the price of i's chocolate we have to call this function shop dot get i so we will call this shop dot get mid then if value is greater than k so we can't buy this chocolate so we will update our high so we will do high equal to mid minus one because we can't buy this chocolate else if we can buy this then we what we will do we will update our previous like we have bought we can buy this chocolate so previous equal to well and uh, we will do low equal to mid plus one then after exiting from this while loop we will have the maximum price chocolate that we can buy in previous so what we will do we will add it to answer answer equal to k by previous and we will do k mod equal to previous and we have to check one thing if if we can't buy anything then this previous will be zero this previous will remain zero so we have to check this as well so if previous equal to zero then we, we can't buy this chocolate and we have to break the loop okay and here we have to do again if if we are left with uh, we have to update our low because we can buy the smallest price chocolate so we have to include this at every step so we will do low equal to zero then at the end we will simply output our answer so return answer. let's see how it yeah it's passing the sample let's run it yeah it's passed so thank you for watching